There you go. Hi, John here. I'm just going to ring Radio Totopo in Mangamooka at North End. Um, and see if I can get a Panuhi or Notice Crush. 800-880-899. Save. Yes, hi, uh, it's John Wanua here in Auckland speaking. Kia ora, kia ora. Kia ora, um, I wanted to put a pānui on, who, who can I talk to to put that on for hui up there in uh, Tahiki? Well, you, you can put it over the air yourself. Okay, that's right. Um, yeah, if that's okay at some stage. Okay, okay then we've got this way up and just winding down at 48 seconds and I'll put you straight on here. Okay, shall I just hang here? Oh, thank you very you much. Got 40 seconds and I'll introduce you and Yes, uh, Hwani Wanoa here, or John Wanoa, in Auckland speaking. Um, I'm uh, running a, a hui up in uh, Tahike Marae uh, on the 18th on a Saturday. Um, and uh, um, uh, Pōwhiri uh, on Friday at 5 o'clock. And that's for the uh, Hori Te Kuri uh, Te Uri o Te Tahike uh, native court that was there long ago, so we're uh, inviting the descendants of uh, Te Kuri or, or, or Hori in the area that have been doing a lot of research on it. Uh, so, uh, so that's uh, uh, with uh, um, Morris uh, Baker, uh, a lot of the history with uh, Ratana there, and I've been with uh, Mohi Manukau and uh, all those apotoro and also with Manahi, uh, he will be there as well uh, to give an account of history, which I'm doing in Auckland uh, with the uh, Willie Pato and them uh, at the Te Unga Waka Marae. And there'll be a hui on uh, Saturday, this Saturday, 11th of uh, November, uh, connecting that marae back up up, up there in the Hokianga. So I'm doing all the history uh, for that area for a long time with Nuki Orridge. I went to his funeral and uh, uh, so I've been in, in that organization for a long time. So if you all come there uh, then I'll have the whole history of that native court and how all the titles work on the land. That's missing and the spirit is missing as well. So uh, I'm, on, I'm, I'm all of that, and uh, Pody and all that, the other guy, Pody Harris and all those guys. Those are my mates up there. Uh, but, but I hope they will come there. Is that okay with you? Uh, right there, on the 18th of this Saturday, is it? Yeah, oh, 18th oh, of Saturday oh, oh, next week. Next week, yeah. Yeah, that's the hui at that marae. And, uh, which marae? Tahiki. 
Tahiki uh, Marae uh, yeah. and uh, um, um, Morris Baker uh, yep. is, is hosting it. Okay. And I'll be on the panel with him there uh, on that on that day. Right. And the other hui is on the 11th, this Saturday. In, uh, no. uh, well, we won't worry about that one for now. We'll just worry about yeah. the other one up there. Okay? And that's my part of it. Um, oh. It's 020-4085-1042. That's my number if uh, any inquiries. Uh, what was your number? 020. What was your number again? 020-4085-1042. That's my number. And uh, uh, can call me. Uh, uh, any time. I have I haven't got um, Morris's number here somewhere. He's on the landline. Uh, Morris uh, Morris is is o nine four o one four eight five five. He's there in Tahike, and um, they can call him, and he will um, 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 take calls. His his mobile is o two one seven nine five. Nine two four. So that's Morris Baker and uh, Mary Ann, um, uh, uh, Mary Ann Hillemeyer Baker. Those are my friends. I stay with in the, in their house, which is Aratana Church. Never slept in Aratana Church before, but that's uh, that's where I go. Yeah, and his home is uh, is Aratana Church. It's got a lot of history. I'm going to talk about. Okay, so that's... Uh, uh, have you, you, mean, you mentioned um, what's now Poto Rose? Uh, uh, Manahi. Manahi, yeah, Manahi. Manahi Parapara Mohini. He's from the Rangitukia yeah. where I come from. Uh, uh, yes. in, in that area, but he's uh, wife of that, that area in uh, yes. Ohio. Okay? Uh, so I've known him for a long time too. I've yeah. known those people a long time. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm willing to share all the information there. Uh, with a uh, with the history of the native land courts. Oh, native land courts. Yeah, that's my business. The, the, that's my profession. Native land courts and what happened to the titles. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you come there, you listen, and sure. you've got it. It's all on Facebook. You just go John Wano, and you see all the history of uh, of what I'm saying there. The pictures, all uh -huh. the all the all the. Uh, how it, how it went together, all the whakapapa, everything. Mm -hmm. mm. And that's all uh, connected to Auckland, uh, to okay. that that history as well. Mm. Yeah. Is this part of the, 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 the community? Yes, it is, very much. I've been in that for 20 years. Yes. Oh. I've been in it right back to Mohi Manukau and um, Matri Tarawa, uh, Hare Utatanga, all those guys, uh, Ri Ari uh, Kake. Mm. I've been with them and dealt with Hongi for. Oh, I've got all the history on that. I've, I've got all their history here and their titles. I'm holding on to all that information of uh, Nuki, uh, Orich, and and yeah. I, 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 I know what they're all about. Mm. Yeah, uh, on the Mohi Manikaus, Apotoro, and, and uh, Ratana, all that history uh, of uh, how the titles, uh, British titles, that's what I do. The British titles and, and uh, Pukekohe and Lefarefa Manukau, that, that, that started off the Native Land Act, 1862. Yeah, I'm doing that on that marae. It's over there, that, that title is on that with the survey of the first chief, or any first chief, and that chief of that area, Tahike, about 20 square kilometers, I've got all the maps on my Facebook, and that, that was uh, uh, that was uh, uh, under that Act, 1862 Native Land Act, and I'm going to open up that marae as a native uh, court, like how it used to be in the old days. I did that with Titi Marae, Waitangi Marae, I opened those up as uh, native uh, magistrate courts, and also uh, Te with Ika Marae up north, I did the same in that marae, and down in Rangitukia, and now I'm going to do it at Takeke, has got all those native titles in there. I'm just going to put the history back where it was, and it'll function well for Ngāpui. 
Mm. So just let that out and let them come there, have a panui. All day Saturday we can ask any questions, I'll answer every question. Fine. Mm. Okay. Oh, fine. Oh, come on. Any, any questions before I go? Okay, so Pody and them, Harrison, they know me. Yeah, Pody, Yeah, they know. Oh, oh yeah, well, well uh, they are my scrum, front row. Uh, and all, all, all this, but we've been together, we've been together. Hey? Yeah, that's where I'm at in the upper house, all that stuff too. Oh, okay. I, 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 I'm a guardian with them. Mm. I'm in the background in a mechanic uh, workshop. Uh, to make sure, make sure uh, the legal side is what I do, straight to Britain. That's past the uh, government and straight to Britain. Mm, so you'll see that. You just type John Wano in Facebook or go to YouTube. There's about 1,200 YouTube videos explaining everything there. I've got uh, 106 Facebook sites with lots of information. Just about how things, uh, the whole history of New Zealand and Pacific Islands. Yeah, my wife. Hey? Yeah, okay. Okay, next week. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Oh, I got my film. Hang on, I'll, 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 put, I'll put radio total on so I can hear them. Um, where, where's the media? News. The media. I, I, I have to make it go. It goes. The radio will come on. Um, media. Must be here. <coughs> Hang on, I'm just trying to tune into the radio. It must be that one. Ah, here. Ah, here it is.
the bottom of my Oh no, 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 no. The kids are great. The Mahawaki, ten day wiki, ten wiki, get out of the Like one of the country, I'm born here, I know. To tap the wee. I'm at the Tutai, I'm at the water one of them. I get the little one of my life to be for a ten day winner day. A ten day winner day. Two o'clock this Wednesday. I'm just listening to the radio a little bit because I've got to get on to my letter to uh, my lawyer uh, for uh, the private investigator. We're getting real serious now. We're not talking to
all the way down through Auckland to um, um, Pirangia and down towards Ratanen. We've marked out all that area, but we did not go to Maungatotu. That's Tirawakato, Wharehere, Here, Manaka. I'm going to tell you something. <coughs> I'm going to tell you something that may shock a few people. I've been on this Manukau title to New Zealand country for over 20 years with Moe Manukau. In fact, we spent a lot of time in Hillenhall at his home in 12 Stewart Street and his brother was on Rata Street, 43 I think it is, Rata Street, on the 10 acre block that the Awaroa Native Court was, and the bank. Ooh, I want to listen to this. So anyway, <coughs> I'm saying I spent a lot of time with Mui Manukau and he told a different story and there was George Connolly. George Connolly lived in Huntley. I don't know if he's still alive, but he was saying to me, John, Mohi Manukau is not the right Manukau. He was talking from the Maungatotari area. And that's more general on the history at Maungatotari, Tira Waikato, Whare Hene Hene Manukau, who put the uh, <coughs> contract together with <coughs> uh, Lieutenant William Simons in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. That started off the first sale and purchase agreement from 1820 to 1830 under King George IV. That's the title I'm going to be talking about on the Marae, a Tahike Marae under Hori Te Kuri, Paramount Chief. Okay? <coughs> so that's Morris Baker's <coughs> Tupuna right there <coughs> in the Marae. It was a native court. I'm just trying to find all the information on that native court. I found quite a bit. And uh, back on to his titles <coughs> on his land blocks. So I've showed him how that works on the real estate side of titles. And that's more advanced than any other title I've come across in the whole of Ngāpui, other than my own down the east coast was more exact. That's why we have our lands, 93% of our lands is still owned by the Apu. <coughs> but, with the Manaku, Manakau history of Te Rau Waikato Whare Here Here Manakau from Maungatauteri in Cambridge, that name Te Rau Waikato appears in the Te Uruho, Te Uruho, Uri, Uri, Te Uruho, uh, Ngāti Whātua. 
history. Graham Latimer and all the rest of them put that together with Sir Hugh Carfero. He wasn't the right Carfero from Naidi, the father of Carfero Giant. He's got no connection. Sir Hugh Carfero was from Ashburton. He had no connection to Ross Carfero from Nelson, Wakatu Marae, and Durbal Island. I brought them up to One Tree Hill and put them in Manirua Marae to claim Carfero's title on One Tree Hill. Now that's fixed to the right Carfero from Raglan and Whangaroa there just up from Raglan. I've got all that history here from Moine Mago and my own research. <coughs> so I'm saying Tiro Waikato is a male, paramount chief, 1820 to 1830 period with King George IV. Now that was a commercial contract. When you have a look at this book, Rogan bought Pukekohe, all that area, Bombay's, right across to Clinton. Cleveland, Cleveland, right across to Afitu <coughs> and <coughs> Waiku, all that area in Pukekohe and um, uh, Bairata, all that area was bought by Rogan, British Crown agent from one Paramount chief, Refa Refa Manikau, right here. Refa Refa Manikau's name is in capital letters, which means he was a commercial land owner in corporate words. That name is owned by the Crown of Britain. Okay? His name is not in lowercase. Anything in uppercase is a Crown ownership of birth certificates. <coughs> so they have got birth certificates. The Manukau family have birth certificates to 1830, 1834 period. <coughs> right to that flag. But that's Mohi Manukau's Whakapapa birth certificate title. Not Manga Totori and what George Connolly was saying. It's a Scotland Scotman was saying he had the right Manukau. Sure, he's got the right Manukau, but the surname of that Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau comes under the George Connolly Whakapapa line that he was trying to tell me at the time, listen to him, not to Mohi. <coughs> so under Mohi's Whakapapa in the Kaipara and Te Uriahau, they've put, listen to this, They've put Tira Waikato as a woman. You hear that? You hear what I said? They put the Te Uriaho and Te Tau and all the Te Roro, all those hapus, te, uh, Narikahu, uh, Narikawa, all those hapus up there, the history of their Whakapapa is around a Tira Waikato up there, from down there, woman. Now, you have the chance to come to Taheke Marae and explain who Tira Waikato, woman, is in the Whakapapa that you have. <coughs> because, as far as I'm concerned, Rogan's name has been taken out of this receipt of purchase. It says quite clearly there in translated in Maori and below is translated in English on the same day, 11th of November 1862. That's why I'm having a hui in Te Unga Waka Marae in Epsom where we had our last hui to put this book together. Okay? We put this book together and then took it up to Te Ki Marae and signed it up there as well. So we're, we're going to sign this again with, the, with those history in behind the first page, behind this receipt of Taheke Marae and Hori Te Kuri, because his title has a deed on it. This is a deed with Referefa Manukau in Māori, 
a deed, 89, title, receipt of purchase, sale and purchase agreement, and a deed of sale in English, number 90 deed. Right, two deeds, <coughs> quite separated, but Rogan's name is missing, it's been deleted from the receipt, and Refere from Manukau is signed in both Manukau name and Refrefa name. So I know that the name Rewa was changed up in Rafiri, where Mohi took me up to the gravesite of Rewa Manukau. And I've followed all of that through for the last 20 years, put this all together and found where the descriptiency is and the tempering of this contract came from Te Rewaikato Whare Here Here Manukau in Edinburgh, Scotland. I've got my friends over there watching all what's going on and they know how that works. Right? My management team is living there in <coughs> uh, Balmoral area and are doing, managing the business of this transaction over there for me. I'm going over there to sort that country out as well, Britain. So here in the English version, both Refa Refa and both Manukau names have been signed separately. And it's got Turton here to verify it, but no one up the top to verify the Maori version, you see? So, <coughs> I'm going to, that, that's, that's fraud, right there. All those whakapapa now, with Te Waikato as a wife of a chief, Mahanga chief, and Lipiro chief, uh, a woman, Lipiro, and this Te Waikato woman is not right. So that throws all the whakapapas out. And I go and seize the property back into Mangatauteri under Referefa Manika. There with one George Conley and Ka. See, but he's not a Manika, but he's got the features of a Manika. But, hey, I know right through it that he was right. And it doesn't matter, the name doesn't matter, but the documents do. The documents do. So he's a Connolly, Mohi's a Rogan, because <coughs> his grandfather's name was Mohi Rogan. And Mohi was a surveyor working in the Awaroa Native Court with this Rogan. And they used or usurped Refere for Manukau and Terawaikato in Manukau, the genuine Waikaro, Waikaro chief, into their northern Rogan titles with those Manukau's on the woman's side. That's why they went down the woman's side on the Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth jurisdiction. Well, this is a king's jurisdiction, takes precedent and seizes all those titles completely and Cook Street is going to be seized on that basis fact cited evidence from me as competent witness of what I say is in its entirety in this native magistrate court, court of right here. Okay, so I'm going to add more pages. I added 20 pages that we put through and mandated this book for me to go to Britain. Um, and was put together in Tūnga Wakamarae on the Auckland area. It doesn't matter where I do this. The Auckland provincial area was from Te Reunga up the top of Cape Rania, right at the top of North Island, down past Lake Taupo, straight across from east to west. All that area was the provincial Auckland with the three magistrate courts in it. <coughs> Kōrurareka, uh, Okayato Native Court, uh, that's the first one. They blew that up to bits and shifted it to Awaroa, 
native court in Helensville, it was a magistrate court. And then the same James Reddy Clinton, a uh, British resident, uh, captain, uh, went down to Hicks uh, uh, Bay and traversed across the land to Whakawhitjira between Tikitiki and Rotorua, uh, Mount Hikarang, and set up the Whakawhitjira Native Magistrate Court seat with the birth certificates in Tikitiki St. Mary's Church at 1831 that formed the basis of the birth, deaths and marriages certificates on the stock market. So that's from my area. So I'm going to put all the titles that Morris Baker has in Tahiti behind this first one of this receipt under the 1862 Native Land Act of New Zealand, which is Rewha Rewha <coughs> Manukau's transfer of title of the whole of New Zealand here that his ancestor Tina Waikato Whareherehere Manukau put together in Edinburgh in 1887. <coughs> comes on, who's been, been listening to the radio for Pani. I thought Pony Harris might jump on. Anyway, um, <coughs> I'm putting all the pages of Pukekohe that I've got on Facebook behind this first page here with that receipt, that receipt of Terawa, of Refa Refa Manikau. Okay. I don't know if George Connery is still alive. I think he might have um, um, passed away. But I'll be going down to uh, Mangatotori at some stage. I'll find who is the original Manaka. So they're not saying anything much because this is a contract that was put together by the Rogans in Hillary and in that Kaipara area. Sorry that my house is a little bit untidy, but that will change one day. Oh, this one. I'm feeling quite fit. <coughs> i got one phone over here. Here's my new one. That's, that's the Chinese one. Because it costs $129. Okay, this one here. <coughs> anyway, before this video runs out, I'm saying this. That the history has going to be turned on its head at Taheke and exposed of the fraud land titles in this country and the world for that matter is affected by what happens here and so that Tirawaikato Tupuna on all those whakapapas that the Treaty of Waitangi OTS Office of Treaty Settlements and all the northern region uh, Crown Forest Rentals, Crown Forest Rentals, CFR, put together those big books I've got here behind my couch here. I'll, I'll pull them out, I'll, I'll, I'll be taking one or two of them up north. The whole stack of them I, I did 
Monacow's, uh, um, calling Monacow's Y121 claim, and I got all those from the Crown Floor of Rentals and the government for a hearing that we had with uh, Rachel Holbrook of the OTS <coughs> at um, a hotel in, at the airport. Now, out of that, um, she was sacked uh, because she couldn't get me to uh, agree with her because I said, no, you can't stop Manukau because they were here before 1840. See, all the treaty claims are cut off at 1840. You can't go back beyond that. Only the Manukau. You see? And I put my own Wanua uh, treaty claim in. It's it's registered in there, but I didn't go in here, here uh, ahead with it. I just put it so that I'm on the list. And I was one out of 300 that went into Parliament in Wellington and had um, our hearings with Ngāti Pro and also with Mohi's uh, Y121. I went there <coughs> um, um, in front of the government. And that cheeky Dover Samuels and cheeky Horemia, particular Horemia, uh, was getting smart to me and told me, get on with it. We were supposed to have 10 minutes, they only gave me 5 minutes. That's what I've been getting up in now for Only 5 minutes to talk about these big things that no one can ever do. And so, <coughs> they still went ahead and passed the Foreshore and Seabed Act, regardless of the, the Hapu chiefs. Over 80% was against it. They went ahead with Helen Clark, I've got a bone to pick you. You've got a trillion pounds on your head, Helen Clark. You're going to lose everything. That's coming from me, the sheriff. Surrogate King William IV. And surrogate King George IV. And surrogate St. Mary's Church, Holy Grail. And surrogate St. Patrick's, eight point star on our flag. Municipalities that collect all the least land rents, rates, fines administrative costs to run the Moai Crown King William for trust business to recover all the debts and seize all the land titles in this country and the misery and the world back into the King's Bench Magistrate Court, Native Magistrate Court here in, in all indigenous countries the Moai Crown King William IV Native Magistrate Court. Okay, that's what we're having in Taiki, all right? <coughs> it's called the Hori Te Kuri Te Uri or Te Tahike Native Magistrate Court Trust. That's what the Hui is about. There with the 1862 Native Land Act which was started right here with this receipt on the 11th of November 1862 between one paramount chief, Refa Refa Manukau, and one British land agent, conveyance land agent, John Rogan. Okay? Right here, fixed on that deck. And Ratna, the government goes to Ratna to get permission to use the Native Land Act, 1862, through the Apotoro Ratna, because Mohi Manaka was a Ratna minister, with his Rogan titles in the Kaipara that has Tira Waikato as a woman. Now, he worked that out. I'm telling you the truth. Prevails. That the Tira Waikato woman is being covered over the real Tira Waikato Whare Hire Hire Manukau male paramount chief in Mogatotari. Pa, his pa side, when he went to England with Hongi Heka, the Cook Island, Tahitian, Paramount Chief, 
No, he wasn't a Paramount Chief. He was an oddity. The only Paramount Chief is a contractor. A person in contract. The word Paramount is in the English terminology definition and <coughs> meaning of chief executive or king. Okay? Equal status, paramount king of commerce. King of the sea, king of the king's bench, magistrate court, royal revenue. Eight point star. Jurisdiction here and there, in four corners there north, east, south, west, north, east, south, west, Naho, Ifa, in the blue sea of Admiralty, in the blue skies, and that's the proof of the flag and sheriff municipalities. St. Patrick Church, Northern Ireland, Belfast. That's where my ancestors come from, the Rogan and the Cosgrove lawyers, Rogan judges. Wonder why I'm talking like one, acting like one, and behaving like one. Because that's what I do. That's my profession from my own white blood in my brown Tahitian skin. Maui is Tahitian, 100%. That's my memorial to the land in standing in England, standing in Auckland, with his head chopped off, on his head there, and the full body with a crown on his head in Dunedin, the park areas of Queen Victoria put him there, and Queen Elizabeth to claim my Maui crown for themselves. Well, sorry. It belongs to me and my family, the Wano people of Rapanui to Mokonui. I'm a landlock at Tipito, East Cape, Waiapu, Tiki Tiki, Matakao Boundary Area, Poverty Bay to Tipito, East Island, at Anakena, Maui, Connection. To God's earth, planet, title, okay? Crown of his head. There, that's my memorial and flag and a king, Innes Augustus the Fifth. Very much alive, living in England, as our oath of office to that king, not Prince William. He ain't no king of mine or prince. And he's got a Spanish father. They're all mixed bloodlines. And Charlie's not his father. They're just bullshit. Their history and their fuckbubba. Genealogy. And you can look at his face and his brother, Harry, doesn't look anything like him. He's a Hewitt. And the mother went with two different fathers. So that just shows you the whole mix-up in the Spencer family and Juan Carlos, Amel, um, Amel de Marcos, sorry, Amel de Marcos <coughs> in the Philippines is looking after our trust with Queen, Vic Queen Elizabeth, head trustee of the Queen Victoria Trust and Prince Andrew, the big crooked guy that got caught out and dismissed by the Queen. There's three trustees in our Queen Victoria Trust where the money's missing and in the World Bank that's come out of Awaro Native Magistrate Court Bank in Helensville under this Rogan Manukau titled there using Mangatotri's Terawaikato Whareheri Manukau title as the, the real native there but the male and the female stole the female into Queen Elizabeth's title, I'm taking it back and putting it back right back onto the male line in Edinburgh Magistrate Court. This is for my friends <coughs> Andy and uh, Jackie, Little Gordon, and uh, uh, 
Jeroni and uh, Zara, uh, their children that I talk to quite regularly on Skype, as they're running the business of the Moai Crown King William IV Trust there, <coughs> and the business of Moai uh, Powerhouse Group Limited, Limited Company, registered company in England as the creditor. Okay, that's that company, and we have the company here, the NAS registered there with a billion shares, and the parent company here in New Zealand, Na Atua Ewa Altair Limited, the four corners of the earth, and Atua, God's Earth, Moai Statue, <coughs> Altair New Zealand and Pacific Islands. That company, Na Atua Ewa Altair Limited, is one of a trillion shares right through the world on 250 countries, countries with a billion shares on each country coming from this flag and King William IV uh, uh, title to back to uh, 1830 to 1837 back to King George his brother King George IV uh, 1820 to 1830 period with Tirawakato Farehi in there and Reverever Manikau in the 1830 to 1837 period to 1868 to receive here under the king not the queen it says to the king, even though Queen Elizabeth was there, it still refers to the king, all these titles. Now that is being tampered with, which constitutes treason and a declaration of war. This is a declaration of war flag in 1834. So to Dundee, Waitai, <coughs> and Hiruwini Kraka, the history of the Whakapapa is now defunct. Listen to this, have a listen before the video goes off. It's a very, very volatile situation. It's the fraud in land titles. And I'm, I'm, I'm a land commissioner, native land commissioner, to correct the titles. <coughs> I'm correcting the titles in Tahike Native Court. That's its name in the early days. In, Ka in uh, Kaikaui, west of Kaikaui, half now. Rawini, we start from with the British. So everybody's on the land, fraudulent. 